Hey guys, Indiana Smith here and we are back at the Sulphur River and this time I've got my 7th grade Texas history class with me. And welcome to my YouTube channel! Alright guys, y'all ready to get in the river? Yeah. Let's do this! Awesome! That is a jaw from a mosasaur. It's like a section of the jaw. You can see the socket where the tooth was very clearly. Okay. This is a piece of enamel from a tooth. Probably Ice Age horse or something like that. Here is two fossilized clams. And then, uh, come here, Jen, show them your... Uh... Yeah, she found a small mosasaur vertebrae. And this is right here on the first gravel bar before we even go down to the good looking area. So. I mean, this is, I think we're in for a very good day. And she's got two fossilized clams. Now, those are very hard to preserve because the rot they're in is so soft. That's the shale that makes up the riverbed. But this is the same species right here, fossilized in a little bit harder rock. Well, we just found our first arrowhead of the day. Uh, it's a Gary Point, which is the most common type of point found here in East Texas. It was laid on its side up in the mud. I called all the kids around, let them get a look at it, and I did get a couple of pictures before we picked it up. And then Mr. Brady here found a nice big shark's tooth. It's got a little bit of tip damage. We found them within about three or four feet of each other. We found an eight track, a certified fossil from the Carter administration. Yeah. Now this is what we used to listen to music on, believe it or not. Yeah, no, that's, that's cool. That is a, a set of jaws from a wild boar. We got a complete pair of lower mandibles from a wild hog. That's worth taking home. That's really a cool find. Now here's a fossil. What's that it's guy? called a baculite. You see the little oh, yeah. squiggles where your shell yeah, fits together? Guy. Somebody want that one? Mm -mm. Now see, here's a little bit of bone. Look at that. It's a little, just a little fragment that you can kind of tell the marrow's looks probably, oops, a mosasaur vertebrae because I can see the flat part on one side. Yeah, one time a few years ago, I actually ran into some tourists from Germany that were hunting fossils down here. Um, they had actually flown in to hit several North American spots, but this was one of the ones they came to. I gave them a couple of Mosasaur vertebrae I found and they bought me dinner. <laughs> yep. Those are called spring peepers, I think. <laughs> the difference between bone marrow and petrified wood is that petrified wood has grain, it has grain. but it well, doesn't really it have the holes. Marrow. Bone will have holes. They may be filled in with minerals, but they'll be really obvious. Now here's a neat little fossil, little clam still in the rock. Pretty good sized chunk of petrified bone coming out of the gravel here. I can't really tell what kind it is yet, so I'm going to go ahead and flip it out. Oh, nice. That's a half of a mosasaur vertebrae with the attachment of the rib still on there. Here's the ball. The socket is broke off. It's still got one attachment here and it would have another attachment, the same coming off the other side. So it's damaged, but that's the biggest piece of bone we found today. That's two mosasaur vertebrae for you, Ms. Brown. Good job. Well, now she found one up by the bridge, but yeah, I found one there too. So this is a tail vertebrae from a mosasaur. The way you can tell it's from down in the tail is it has these two sockets right here on the upper side of the vertebrae. There was a chevron bone, just a Y-shaped bone that attached right there, came down, and that's what gave him his powerful tail to swim through the oceans. So that was found by Miss Brown here in the midst of a swarming gnat attack. Now this is the broken basal section of an arrowhead right here. It's kind of a pink color. You can see the stem is very distinctive and the tip end is broken off. But that's the third artifact we've recovered. And here's a little piece of fossilized bone lying right next to it. Oops. Just a lot of little treasures here in the riverbed. You just got to look close and be patient. All right, we just got our second arrowhead of the day right here. It's another little Gary Point laying right here in the gravel. I'm going to slowly flip it out with my finger and see what color it is. Ah, pretty. This is a very common style of point here in East Texas. Out of my 9,000 point collection, I probably have about four or 5,000 of these guys. That's how plentiful they are in this area. But it's always a pleasure to find another one. Sorry the kids aren't here to see it, but they've kind of spread out and they're having fun playing in the water. Oh, and hey, right over here, don't stop filming. Colton just found a mosasaur vertebrae. <laughs> Way to go, Colton. There's the actual color on both sides now. 
The mud actually helped me with that one because the flaking was much more clear when it was covered with mud than it is now that it's clean. Two arrowheads for the day and about eight pieces of mosasaur bone. The only thing we're short of normal is shark's teeth. We haven't found a whole lot of those yet, but uh, very productive day and the kids seem to be having a great time. Uh, someone is Mr. Smithing me. Oh my word, what are y'all, Holly, zoom in over there. What are y'all doing? Hey, you know, if we leave you here, you'll become fossils for a future generation of archeologists to find. Well, it could be a child's arm bone. What? No, it's a deer. Uh, that again, probably that could be a dog or a coyote. Yeah, I think that's oh no, now that's a that. that's <laughs> now that's peccary. What's that? That's wild hog. Little bitty baby box turtle. Isn't he cute? Oh, can I see that? Oh, cool. That's part of a human skull. It's turtle shell. I'm messing with you. <laughs> also, what's that? Cow bone, cow leg. Yeah. What's this? That is a piece of old tumbled bottle glass. Someone want this cow bone. Anybody? <laughs> Third arrowhead of the day. Nice slender Gary point. Look at that. That was laying right there where everybody had walked. I knew it was going to be a good day. When we took that 30 foot rides last week, I knew we were going to have a good day down here as long as the rain held off and it did. Shark's tooth. Nice shark's tooth. Oh, okay, turn around. Pick that up. That's a piece of a tooth. That's from some sort of Pleistocene mammal. Could be a piece of mammoth tooth, actually, from the look of it. Ooh, nice. Okay, that's an encodus tooth. saber tooth fish, like the one in my video. All right, guys, you know how you make an arrowhead? Nah. You, you take a piece of flint and you break away everything that doesn't look like an arrowhead. Same way you make a statue of an elephant. You take a piece of rock and chip away everything that doesn't look like an elephant. That's why we find so many flakes and spalls because that's all the leftovers from where they were making something. Now, there's one thing I always do. I leave my trademark. Don't mess it up. The smiley face with the arrowhead stuck to it. That is my trademark. I found a a shell, a part of a handle, and an old oyster shell. Yeah, Kinley's got oh, a pig tooth. jaw and a nice mosasaur vertebrae and several big fossil shells. I have just a bunch of cool rocks and a shark's tooth. I found some shells, some really tiny ones. My dad was looking really hard, and he found a shark tooth. And my teacher, Mr. Smith, found a mosasaurus vertebrate that he let me keep. And then I found some pink glass. Don't litter. I found part of a mosasaur jaw and part of a, a deer jaw. And this is also part of a deer, this one right here. And this is part of a deer. This is probably a wolf or a dog, and this is a deer. Oh! oh right here in the gravel bar where we all walked. Oh, that's a nice Gary point. Good job! I wanted to find, I was like, oh, I guess I'm High not fives, just fun. don't break the arrowhead. Don't break all right. She found a really nice Gary point walking back in an area we had all walked over. Just that there. just goes to show they can be anywhere. Yeah. It was wide open, wasn't it? Yeah, it was just sitting right there. Yeah. Best point of the day from our little quiet uh, <laughs> lurk behind lady here. That and uh, that's not a Gary either. That's a bold. That? That's probably a Carrollton. Let me feel. Yeah, base is ground. That is a killer point. Hey, hers is bigger than yours. <laughs> oh, look at the colors in it. Isn't that pretty? Ooh, nice. I found it like right by there. I know that. Now that is a neck vertebrae. Oh. And the reason you can tell it's a neck vertebrae, this big process right here, that's where his neck muscles attach. Now, of course, the vertebrae, actually, this would have been the front. This would have been the back. The neural arch goes up, and this is down here, but that's what his muscles enabled him to swivel his neck with. That is a very nice, and that hasn't been out of the matrix very long because it's still got shale yeah. sticking to it. Back over there. That is a that's we have made some excellent finds today.
Well, I've been coming down to this river since 1987. In 31 years now, I've found thousands of arrowheads, lots of fossils, just all kinds of cool stuff, but it never loses its appeal because you simply never know what you're gonna find. Every time you come here, you know, especially right after a big flood like this, possibilities are wide open. So it was a fun and exciting day. I'm glad that the kids got to find stuff. Uh, gonna go get some ice cream and burgers on the way back and hopefully get back to school just in time for the end of the day. Now let's see if I can find something while they're changing. Okay, guys, look at the girls. Beg, plead, make puppy dog eyes. Girls, you are stern, you are refusing, you are powerful women and you are saying no! One more, all right, let's do it. One, two, three. And one more time, one, two, three, make that no sound. Yay! This is just a fun place and the cool thing about it is you just never know what you're gonna find. You know what, I've taught here 23 years. This is the day they never forget. Even if they don't find anything, this is the field trip they remember. All right, so, well, we've got the kids eating burgers and ice cream right now, and uh, this is Amanda Mendoza. She's one of our seventh grade parents this year, but she was also a seventh grader on the trip where we found the Mosasaur skull back in 1997. And so I thought I'd talk to her. What, what do you remember about that day? I remember it was a great day. We had a lot of fun. I don't think our class got quite as wet and muddy as this year's class did. No, there wasn't as much <laughs> I water. I don't think there was as much water that day. But uh, I remember we just all kind of broke off into groups like this class did. And I just remember you were so excited <laughs> that you found something and you're yelling and screaming and everybody was like, He's going crazy. <laughs> what is going on? I'm pretty sure my hat sailed about 20 feet in the Probably air when I saw so. that thing laying Probably there. So. Well, you know, I've been going to the river for 31 years, and that's the only time I've ever found a complete skull just sitting there. It was pretty neat. Fully connected. Yeah. And what was funny was all you guys had gone right by it. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't know what we were looking for. Still to yeah. this day, I don't know that most of us know what we're looking for. It was a fun day, though. Well, I think the kids had a fun day today. I so. think so, too. Yeah. If you could tell by the muddiness and the wetness of all the kids, it looks like they had fun. Oh, yeah. They had a good time. <laughs> well, well yeah. it was kind of neat to have you back along again it 21 was. years later. I wish that we could have just had a repeat performance and been as successful as we were that day. That would have been That's neat all right. We still another... found a lot of cool stuff, though. Yeah, it was did. a good day. We got some good A lot of heads. artifacts and fossils. And, and the kids just seem to have a blast. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. What was it like for you being back on the trip again? Like, Well, I'm a little more reserved probably than I was as a seventh grader. You're a little more cautious about where you're stepping and what you're looking for. But it was fun to be back and to we're a little bit different area of the river, I think, mm -hmm. than we went when I went. So that was neat, too. And all the water just made for a totally different Did your daughter experience. have a good time? Oh, yeah. She oh, good. Fun, good. So. Excellent. It was a good, good day. Beautiful weather. Glad it didn't rain all day. On oh, us, I'm so. so glad. I was terrified because, you know, they had a 70% chance in the forecast for rain today as That's of last right. Wednesday. And it's like every day the chances went down a little bit. And I got up this morning and said 15%. Yeah. I looked out. I was like, we got this. Yeah, it was all great. All right. Well, hey, good day. Thanks. And we got to be a part of it again. It was fun. Hey, we want to thank you for coming along with us on our field trip today. We hope you had as much fun as we did. Now, guys, what are our three favorite words? Like, like share, share, subscribe, subscribe. and thank you.